<laughs> Welcome to Jacob's Mr. Friendship Podcast. We're not exactly on the podcast. We're not. Oh, this is a this is a main channel video. Main channel video. Okay, You're, we're even skipping the podcast for you. You're oh, going right to the great. main channel. This, this is, is <laughs> welcome to the main channel. This, this one's, one's a doozy. We're gonna have nuggets today. Let me tell you, I had a nugget the other day, and I was like, "This is amazing," but I could have used two. So today we have a special for you. You can get two nuggets for the price of. $29.95, we've got callers standing by, volunteers on the phones, they're lighting up, they're ringing off the book. Call now. Get two of Jacob's Nuggets for the price of $29.95. The number's on the bottom of the screen. <laughs> Call now. Very exciting. We don't charge for nuggets, unfortunately, on the channel. <laughs> but, but if we did, <laughs> what a deal you'd get today! It'd be amazing! It'd be Two the deal. for the price of one! It'd be the deal of the century. Two but you can call the number below one. if you want to talk to Giles personally. <laughs> we'll, we'll, be putting, we'll be putting my dad's personal yes, cell phone it's right, right at the bottom here. of the screen. Right at the bottom of the screen. Just give, call me up. I'll call tell you. I'll tell you what the truth is. I'll tell you the honest truth. And that's what we're here for today. Yes. Uh, so, hey, how are you? Welcome back to another episode of Mr. Friendship Podcast <laughs> on, on YouTube. YouTube. We're on YouTube. Nice. Which your tube? <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can tell by the by the ums and the buts and the being really sure about jokes and then kind of pulling back on them a little bit. <laughs> Maybe you could tell by the bald head and the big smiles. This is my dad. This is Giles Andrew Philip Sharp. He's going to be helping me out with today's video. And what are we going to be talking about on today's video? Uh, the coronavirus? No. Oh, no, no, no. Not the coronavirus. Not the coronavirus. Thing. We are broadcasting from my uh, my sister's playroom. Yep. They're the ages of uh, two and three. Yep. And I thought this would be the perfect space to talk about vaccine conspiracies. Uh, I feel like this is maybe where all of the uh, where all of the conspiracy theorists should hang out. Because in my opinion, you guys are acting like children. And maybe some of these people who don't want to get the vaccine could use what I like to call a timeout. Timeout chair. <laughs> timeout chair. And let me tell you, it is the timeout chair is not popular in this house. <laughs> no, no, it's not. There's a number of very interesting theories out there, and we're going to talk about them. And they're and they're 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 entertaining. <laughs> they're really entertaining. And so I hope you'll see kind of the value and the entertainment of it, but the sadness as well of the reality oh, that yeah. people really believe this. This is like it gets really sad. It gets sad really quick. But Dad, you. you you have your vaccine, right? I do, yeah, yeah, and, for sure. And uh, it's going, it's going well so far. Going really, really well. So you got it, and you, you, you're now magnetized. Yes, yes. You have five yes. G, and you also yes. got the microchip. I yes, believe. which is amazing because I love the attention. I want the government to watch me because <laughs> I really feel. I guess I like the attention of. Well, I say it all. Someone's kind of like watching me. It's comforting knowing that someone wants to know where I am. Yes, that is. It's so nice. It's And now you can relax a little <laughs> bit, knowing that your son, the government's <laughs> going to be looking after him. Oh, it's fine. God, it's, it's fine. fine. <laughs> if I don't hear from you a couple days, I'll just call up the government and go, hey, do you know where our Jacob is? And they'll be like, you know what? We actually are just looking through his texts right now. Yeah. He just sent another picture of his poop to Dean and Curtis, and they loved it. And then So he's <laughs> good? He's safe? Okay, <laughs> bye. Yeah, we spent all day sifting through all his texts, and basically all, all we got was poop. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Thank you. I'm so glad we have a government that cares. Before we get into the, the conspiracy theories, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, anti-vaxxers and the anti-maskers, yes. oh, because it's... you and I try to be pretty liberal and understanding, and we like the rules, uh, especially when it comes to saving lives. Yeah, that's, that's really thing. important. Um, it's it's not just following the rules like, hey, I'm going to make sure I wear my seatbelt when I drive. Basically, we're just asking people to get this so you don't kill your grandparents too quick. For sure. And no understanding, too, that just because because you have, you, you've been double vaccinated doesn't mean that you still can't get COVID. It just means you're not going to get as, as sick potentially or die. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a, it's a serious thing. Mm -hmm. It is serious, but we're going to make it fun. We are going to make it fun. We're yes. going to make it fun. We're going to make it fun. Uh, I don't think the uh, anti-vaxxers, they, they like being an open group that accepts anybody into their group. Yes. Right, anti-vaxxers? Yes. You guys are inclusive. But I've noticed there's there's about five different types yes. of people. Number one, young fellas my age who watch Jordan Peterson and Alex Jones, they think that this is, that this is their oppression yes. as white people. Yes. This is my, this is my pain. They yeah. want me to get a needle and I'm not getting it. Now they're going to tell me I have to have a 
vaccine? Yeah, oh, the government? No way. We get it, white guys. It's tough. But maybe, just maybe, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> One of my favorites because these young, young hot guys who think they're doing everyone a favor. Oh no, oh. he gave us the finger. Whoa. He, he kind of set us up there like he was going for the you... passport, but he couldn't find it. And then Whoa, we flipped us the bird. <laughs> very rebellious. Young very man. hardcore. But very good looking. That's the thing. Now I gotta listen to him because he's just so goddamn exactly. handsome. Exactly. He really proved his point. You don't want to mess with him. No, neither do I. The second one, folks who think that this is taking away their freedom. For the people who think that Donald Trump is still president, but controlling. But then they think that Biden's shoving this vaccine down their throat. I know. And unfortunately, guys, it doesn't you know, make sense. It doesn't make sense because no. didn't didn't, <laughs> didn't Don make the vaccine? Yeah, he I made thought it. he was bragging about that. Didn't he Don was, make was, the vaccine? He, he made it in his basement. And exactly. It was in the White House. He was in there. It was there. We just had a tubes. he had a flashlight and a bottle <laughs> of bleach, and he was like, "There's some sort of thing we can do." Supposing we hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light, apply light and heat to cure. Yeah. If Biden's shoving this thing down your throat, <laughs> wouldn't you take it? Because it was made by your, your guy. by God Almighty himself. How your guy? Sweet Don. You can either have one or the other. Donald Trump is still president, but he's the one who is pushing the vaccine down your throat then. Can't have it both no. ways, guys. Oh, no. no. <laughs> All right. Joe Biden is a tyrant. He is now requiring American citizens, mandating them to get vaccinated. Take the vaccines, I did it, it's good. Take the vaccines, but. Number three, hold on, I have this. I think this one's my favorite, if this is number three. But okay. I'm not sure, if number no, three, go for it. this is the anti-vaxxers saying, this is just like Nazi Germany. Remember Nazi right. Germany? Remember the oppression? Well, hang on, I believe Nazi Germany was the oppression of people to the point of mass murder. This is about saving lives. Yes. protecting lives. How is this the same as Nazi Germany when it's totally different? It's almost, it's very disrespectful to those who, those who survived and lost their lives. Uh, and fascinated by that group of people yes. because they're like, yeah, they're making us carry our papers around. Yeah. Like, they, like it's not like it's vaccine passport, like it's papers. Nazi Germany. And I yes. go, yeah, but you also have identification to drive. Uh, oppression is not being asked uh, to take some medicine. No. When you're sick uh, with a cough and you go into the pharmacy and they recommend NyQuil, you're like, this is fucking Nazi Germany. Yes. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh my God. <laughs> you want me to get a good night's sleep and get better? Oh, I can't um, believe this which, country. Uh, which is just the most tone deaf thing to think. <laughs> and I can't believe that people are comparing that to a genocide. The Nazis used to call control of information. Today they call it fact checking, <laughs> which is... And then I really like that they're showing Mark Zuckerberg yes, while it's being posted on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think he would get blocked. You'd think that Mark would be like, okay, guys, <laughs> let's maybe leave me out of it. You're in my house. That's right. You'd, and you'd, you're comparing me to the Nazis? A dictator? He thinks that when we say check your facts, that it's the Holocaust. That's right. I, I, I went to school. I always looked up to my teachers for information. I always looked up to my peers for information and, and, and getting... Mistake number one. When they would tell me to go look something up in a textbook, I never felt like my life was being threatened. Um, so we have another one. I feel like that tattoo is probably from a survivor of the Holocaust. Am I yeah. correct? Oh, and, and then comparing And then it. we have the QR code for the COVID vaccine passport. Oh, my goodness. And it says, those who fail to learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Wow. This is super not okay. No. Uh, super disrespectful. For sure. To the people who were uh, yeah. who lost their lives during this. For sure. If, if that was comparable, then I don't think you would have Facebook. No, you wouldn't. Uh, In his mind, though, he just did a comparison. Pick. You know what's the best comparison? A baseball game. It's That's great. America's pastime. Wow. Well. What's next? You're going to put microchips <laughs> in my apple pie? <laughs> I guess this is like a leftist, liberal, queer, Nazi. Whoa. Right. Whoa. This, this is, is a lot. This is, and so we, went from, we went from 10 days to flatten the curve to show me your papers in a year. Oh. 
Oh my god. Unbelievable. This is just a disaster. It is. It's These people are all the super conservative. I don't like how everything's all gay now. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. They're just trying to change everything to turn me gay. They're gonna kill all the babies. <laughs> they're gonna take away the pipeline. Everybody's gonna work. They're gonna work on the pipeline. They're trying to make everything all green. They're gonna make me warm in the woods. <laughs> and that's why I think maybe you guys should sit in the Time out chair. You, or at least you need a nap because you're all fussy. We do this with with uh, my 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 sisters who are again two and three years old. Because sometimes they get fussy. They've had long days. They just need to go lie down and take a nap. And then they wake up <laughs> they're and they're, they're, they're great. They're, they're totally okay with being told what to do. <laughs> totally okay with being like, you know what? I I understand that these are the rules. The other group of anti vaxxers are the ones who are claiming that it's just the flu. You're telling me just to what get a flu shot? Like that's gonna do anything? Yeah. <laughs> I really like this group of people <laughs> downplaying and saying it, it's like the flu um, is is ludicrous because I would love for you guys to come down to the cancer hospital where I had cancer yeah. and you could go tell all the cancer patients who are hooked up to ventilators it's just the flu yeah, but then when you walk into the hospital and you're like can I have a ventilator please my chest hurts <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should have gotten the vaccine <laughs> maybe what we should do is make a deal like this you know what no problem it's you know it's your right you can refuse medical attention in Canada and you can refuse the vaccine. When you come to the hospital and are like, oh my goodness, I'm really sick, I might have COVID. You just say, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I really respect that you're a non you're anti vaxxer So no, 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 we're not gonna give you medical treatment. We don't want you to compromise any of your beliefs. You're gonna have it's... to find some back alley healthcare somewhere <laughs> yes. else. And that brings me to my favorite group. Yes. The folks who want to do alternative treatment. Right. And I get it. <laughs> it would be so nice if, if we could all drink juice boxes and that would make all of us feel a lot better. Certainly my little sisters who are two and three think that juice boxes are medicine for sure for because sure when they they're do. feeling it's, down, yeah, it's, it's no, a pick me up. It's a huge pick me up. Sure. Unfortunately, <laughs> When I was sick and I was getting chemo, they were some days like, okay, now today is the holistic day, so we're going to hook up some beetroot juice yeah. into, your, into your IV. <laughs> and positive thinking. Just and that, <laughs> yes. All of the people I know who are anti-vax, I'm so excited for them to get sick so then I can message them and say, it's all about your positive attitude. <laughs> you know what's going to get you through, through the COVID? COVID? Is a positive mindset. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That phony flu, you just got to be you just gotta, in your mind. You got to be, you gotta be, be strong. stronger than COVID. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Usually the, the our demographics in in, in anti-vaxxing. The, the other one I guess I missed is is moms who think vaccines cause autism. That's a big one. You know I think it draws a really big stigma to to autism, uh, and I think it's uh, For sure. wildly unfair to people who. For sure. Have autism. And that one's been disproven. Mm -hmm. I think that one was disproven was in wild. the 90s. That was, that was in the 90s. Well, it, it resurfaced again. It was in the 90s and it resurfaced again. Uh, but I like that it started in the 90s. Yeah. Because the 90s are a wild place. Wow. The 90s are the wild west of being a person. Yeah. Uh, and it was the start of the internet. Yes. You could really get away with doing anything. anything. Uh, all you 90s moms out there who think that this causes autism, unfortunately you're wrong. But uh, hopefully this video will be educational to you. And maybe you can listen to two bald guys who are gonna giggle too much because uh, we're hopped up on pop. Now I wanted to talk to you about 5G. Yeah, 5G, that's important. 5G is really important. That's really important. That's a big one. That was one that was very, the very beginning of when it was called the coronavirus. That was the big conspiracy theory. Tons of content on YouTube about it. People were starting to believe it. Now the, the worst part is, is we're using G5 right here at my house and I'm already starting to feel sick. Oh, oh, like a cough. Oh. I wonder if I'm getting the... Are, are you okay? Maybe, maybe. <coughs> oh geez, here, you know what? I'll hop on my know. phone and I'll call 911. Do that. Hi. Oh. Do that. <coughs> oh jeez. Um, oh. Yes. Are you getting me see? <coughs> it wasn't a coronavirus. It wasn't COVID. It wasn't uh, science at the beginning. It was actually G5. It no, was 5G? 5G. I'm gonna turn my 5G off. Better. Because I'm feeling woozy right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I already oh, feel, oh I already feel goodness, way better. Oh my god. Way better. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. I know. Now And now they're not going to turn us into phones. I want to have a phone. I don't want to be a phone. Do you know a lot of anti-vaxxers? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They're all pretty reasonable. In some cases, yes. I could talk to them on many topics and be like-minded and everything good. And then mm. we get on this one topic and then it's almost like, what? Well, and that's the thing. I find a lot of, uh, a lot of the conversation is a big, beautiful dance around true information. Exactly. It's this beautiful waltz. 
cuts around re true. real it's information. True. It's like dancing with the stars. It's like dancing with the stars, <laughs> except we're the ones who are the dancers, and they're the actor who's like, I'm going to go freestyle. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so let's let's go freestyle on yeah. some of these videos. Okay, let's go freestyle. <laughs> already, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's just fantastic. So already, we were <laughs> USA, baby. Yes. Okay, country music song time. Country music. Here we go. I could see me sitting in the back of a cop car, banging my head on a window. <laughs> Not a lot of not <laughs> the caption was really good. Get vaccinated, yeah, go to jail, jail. Yeah. which is uh, very reasonable. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. Well, okay, Twitter. So, How about I just go to jail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's what we're saying, guys. Really, what we're saying: get the vaccine, or maybe don't go to a movie theater ever again. Maybe. Which is for some people, I'm sure that's her jail. That is her jail because she couldn't watch a movie at home, and she shouldn't have to. You shouldn't it's have her, to. It's, it's her, her right. It's her God-given right. Yes. Maybe next time when you buy a Make America Great hat again, maybe you could <laughs> maybe you could get one that fits. <laughs> so, looks, for some reason, looks this like it's looks, her grandpa's. Or something. It does. It, hey, grandpa, can I borrow that hey, grandpa, hat? And he's like, well, don't wreck it. He's like, don't get it covered don't, in COVID. Don't, don't, don't wreck it. <laughs> Did I recognize her? Was she wearing the hat? Is that the same girl? <laughs> I don't think it is, <laughs> but it looks might like as well. It looks like I know it's her grandpa's hat. Her grandpa's thing. In this one, she was like, "Grandpa, can I just use the stable?" <laughs> He's like, "Don't wreck it." <laughs> There's a common theme here where they're just like they're fighting back with TikTok. Oh, yeah, and it's that's effective. The thing. It's and very it's effective. effective. And if I had seen these, I probably wouldn't have gotten vaccinated because <laughs> I see the value in what they're saying now. I'm like, can I return this? Oh my goodness! The truth. <laughs> but finally, the finally. truth. Wow. Have you guys seen this video of, uh, of of young people flipping off the camera? I finally got it. I really finally got it. Then great, making America great again has yes. popped onto your head, and you're oh, like, yeah. let's get to work. <laughs> Pop song. I never, never, no, you'll never see me again. Nice, nice. That was really that nice. Was really good. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I was. I'm gonna break off all of my relationships when she tells me she's getting the vaccine. Yeah, he's done. And then he's, he's like, yeah, like, I'm out. But no, you went and got two. You went and got two, two vaccinations. vaccinations. Maybe even a booster. Ooh. Oh my god, disgusting. Hey, I'm not bringing it home to my mom. No, nope. <laughs> she does not approve. <laughs> I left my Gurk at home. Is there any way that I can pay with my chip? Okay, cool. I just wasn't sure if you did that through the drive-thru. There you go. Try again. There's, <laughs> there should be something, there should be something in there. Try one more time. <sighs> Is there any way that my husband can transfer funds? My husband? My non-gender conforming partner? Oh no. She went there. <laughs> she did go she did. there. She went there. How did that become part of the... I know. The, like, what, the, what, what was <laughs> that? That, have to do with <laughs> that doesn't have to do with anything. anything. But it would be convenient. Oh, yeah. What, are you going to put my yeah. debit card in here? Yeah. Why wouldn't we? It's already here. <laughs> She's being very sarcastic. A lot of these people who think this way are the people who have no problem having attitude in a drive-thru. Yeah. They were already a nightmare to deal with. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Now this just... Gives them a new platform. These are all the people who are like, I asked for a triple triple and you gave me a four by four. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna need to speak to someone's manager because my apple fritter's ice cold. <laughs> if I don't have to carry around a wallet yeah. and all of it's in here, yeah. what a treat. Like, here's the thing, uh, older folks who don't get new gender identities and, and uh, the, the, uh, the way the gender uh, conversation is going, I get that you don't understand. I get that it's all new, but you don't need to bring that into your conspiracy no. theory of what the vaccine is. And I don't always understand everything. And <laughs> what I do is I check it out with my children who are more up on things than I am. Thing is, is you're not going to go to a drive through and be a no. dick about it. No. <laughs> so this is what I found out. So I have a key and a bobby pin here. Explain to me why the key sticks to me. It sticks to my neck, too. I got those. Yeah, so if somebody can explain this, that would be great. But you can notice here, when she's putting it on herself, it's it's not sticking. <laughs> <laughs> so she's a nurse. That person's a nurse. So you're telling me that this metal key's sticking to my sweaty skin. What the heck is going on? Okay, okay, government. Uh, you guys gotta explain something, because now... 
keys are sticking to me. Because this isn't under the 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 other the, the theory of <laughs> that they're putting magnets in us. I wish she had done like the ring. Like I can't get the ring off. It's magnet <laughs> stuck there. It's stuck. it's stuck. I can't get it off. Look, it's stuck. Look, it's magnet. And look, and now my <laughs> fingers swelling. And, and then I put these earrings in my ear. And, oh, jeez, I, I can't, can't get, get them out. It's stuck, stuck to the car. Yeah. Like. <laughs> and why are we all so scared of becoming Magneto? I don't know, really. That's, that's a great thing. That's, that's amazing. It's so cool. <laughs> We've made movies about Magneto. And that's the thing. I, most of these theories just would make a really good movie. They would make an excellent They would make a really good movie. <laughs> yes, your keys are sticking to you, but you'll never lose them. No, that's a positive again. It's another positive. Oh my goodness. How many times, times have you just wanted to just put your arm out yeah, and then they just go, <laughs> <laughs> found him. Oh, she's not looking at this the right way. Oh, the, uh, another thing that uh, anti-vaxxers really like, and I think your generation as well, uh, mm. they really thrive on Facebook. Oh, yes. Facebook, Facebook is, is the thing. It's the place. It's really the place yeah, to be. Place. I know that you're worried about the government getting into your business and knowing your information, but yeah. you are safe on Facebook. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mark Zuckerberg would not do anything <laughs> oh, on... He no, would never, no, ever no. violate your privacy. privacy policies. No, never. Before you sh tell me any information, you have to declare what the URL of the website is. Right. If it ends in like a dot or I don't trust it. Right. And if I need to turn on ad blockers <laughs> right. to go, on, to that go website, on that website, yeah. you should you should have to show how many times they offer a free iPad on the website before, mm, before even you know reading the information. Because right. yeah. the amount of people who are getting this information and they're like, oh my god, I can win a free iPad. And they're like, why well, my computer work? <laughs> <laughs> it's a real nightmare. It is. Because it's just people, it's just old people tagging like 20 of their friends on their public walls saying, <laughs> this is the best dirt bike video I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> <laughs> Tons of memes and just Tons of memes and and resharing and nonsense. And thinking that uh, not getting the vaccine is a personality. Uh, this, is their... this is your defense against mandatory force oh, vaccine. E. Yikes. <laughs> kill people? You're going to kill people? Over... Wow. You can, that, okay. That's a really brave stance. And yet, in a way, it's interesting, it's ironic, by not getting the vaccine, you're, you're going to kill more people. You, potentially, yeah, and it could be. What it should say is, this is your defense against mandatory force vaccines, and it's you coughing on, on a dead person because you killed them. Please remove your mask. It has been 405 days. You are still alive. Give a smile. Give a hug. Wow. Okay, so this is more like peachy keen. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is like it's very much like the family is forever, guys. Yeah. And tomorrow is it, tomorrow is love, and uh, today is now. What, what <laughs> would happen if you if you didn't remove your mask? Would they refuse to serve you? I wonder. Interesting. So you know what it, it hap It's happened recently in Kingston. You said that someone yes. lost their liquor, liquor license. license. That's correct. It might be for life. Him losing it. And maybe um, he'll open up a bar sort of for thing. just anti-vaxxers. Uh, maybe it'll be an elegant speakeasy bar where yeah. people can just not have the vaccine and they can talk about their Dodge Ram truck and they can talk right. about having an orange otter box case and then right. just the followers don't. So then, uh, have you seen the movie Hunger Games? <laughs> I have, yeah. You've yeah. seen the movie, okay. You, yeah. And you know the, 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 the Mockingjay, like the, the whistle, the... Yeah. Can you do it? Uh, I can't. Oh. I used to. I knew you were about to. I, I know. I used to be. I can't remember well, what let's, the tune is. Yeah, something like something that. Something like that, but I can't do it. That's it. That was a real movement. So is it three or two? Some people are doing two. I know. I, there seems to be this thing with not getting the vaccine where their middle fingers are stuck. Which, I, yeah, I can't. I can, move I, can't. My, I can move my fingers just fine. I know. I wonder if maybe not getting the vaccine is causing that. I have great dexterity. Our dexterity is great. I have a theory that not getting the vaccine has made people act like little babies. <laughs> act like little whiny babies. It is scary. Yeah. The, the, the pandemic is terrifying. And... I get that we're all a little tired. It's frustrating. It's been going on for so long now. For sure. It feels like forever. Yeah, and people died and they lost their, they lost their, lost their loved, loved ones. ones. It, it's yeah. It's been tragic. What my dad and I are trying to get at, the misinformation that's being sold to people. You have the right to choose what you want to put in your body. For sure. But you should not reprehend anybody who take it. You should not call people sheep for taking it. They're scaring people out of, you know, something that they actually might need. That's the thing is that the fear-mongering and then the selling it to people as if 
you're an idiot for taking the vaccine. And that's the hypocrisy because they're like, don't judge me for not taking it. <laughs> the snowflake liberal. <laughs> and then they want to get the vaccine. How about I just get my gun? <laughs> and that's my defense against that. How does that sound? How does that sound, Gen it Z? It sounds like you're very afraid. I know. And you and just that's, need a hug. You're going to be okay. Don't want a hug. Don't touch me. You're safe. You're safe. No, I'm not safe. You're going to kill me. No, it's going to kill me. <laughs> hey, gang. I hope you're enjoying the nuggets so far. You know what I've been enjoying lately? Feeling safe and secure while using the internet. And that's all thanks to today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. Are you guys sick of big shot billionaires like Mark Bezos and Jeff Zuckerberg taking all of your private information, selling it to big companies for a bunch of absurd money? Well, you can tell those creepy little tech weirdos to kick rocks thanks to ExpressVPN. And maybe you're thinking, yeah, but Jacob, I already turned incognito mode on on my browser, and I've been clearing my browsing history. So don't worry, no one can see what I'm doing wrong. Your internet service provider can still see everything you're doing online, even when you're turning on incognito mode. And your ISP can track every website that you visited, and in the US, they can sell that information to make their own profit. I use ExpressVPN on my laptop, on my desktop, and even on my phone, because when I do things like join a public Wi-Fi that's unsecure, I don't want these big companies in the government knowing what I look at in my spare time. And ExpressVPN allows you to browse the web safely and securely. By encrypting your data and sending it through a secure tunnel with thousands of other users, making it much harder for your ISP and other third-party hackers to steal your info. And that's not all. ExpressVPN will also help you save money. I know I love streaming my favorite TV shows, but I don't want to pay those crazy US Netflix prices. If only there was a way to change my IP address location and use different countries' conversion rates to get a cheaper price on Netflix. Well, there is, dum-dum. ExpressVPN has the ability to change your IP address location to one of their servers in 94 different countries. And changing your location is just one click away. ExpressVPN helps me feel safe and secure when I'm doing my favorite things online. So go check out how you can get three free months with ExpressVPN by clicking the link in my description down below. ExpressVPN.com slash nuggets. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S VPN.com slash nuggets. So thanks for sponsoring this video, ExpressVPN, and thank you to you guys for checking out ExpressVPN. Checking out the sponsors helps out the channel and it helps me out, and it really helps me bring the nuggets to you guys. So thank you so much, ExpressVPN, for sponsoring this video, and thanks for the nuggets. Now back to the video. Unfortunately, this is the end of the video, guys. We we would like to encourage people to get the vaccine. Hey, we're not gonna judge you if you don't. But if you say a bunch of silly nonsense, we might make another we video about it. <laughs> video. Call so, the number at the bottom of your screen. Get, na get, get nuggets. nuggets. Two for one. Two for one Time's value. running out. 1-800-Giles' Nuggets two for one. Two for one. It's a long number. It's it's worth it. Thank but you all. Giles and I got to get out of here because we got to go find our keys. Yes. So hold on, hold on, maybe we can... Oh, oh, this one's oh plastic my God. though. This one's it has some metal in it. it has some, oh, it's, but it is it's sticking, sticking to you. It's sticking to me. Look at this. I am Oh my God. Needle. We're gonna get to the bottom yeah. of this. So we'll see. We'll see you guys later. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because subscribing to, to this channel guarantees you a lifetime supply of nuggets. Nuggets. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs>